Hey, what's going on guys, Sebastian here. And today I'm talking to you about video ads, how to make video ads work for e-commerce. And this can also be applied for other types of businesses or promotions you wanna do on Facebook. But before I go ahead and tell you how to make video ads work and, and you know, the kind of best practices with videos, I wanna tell you that like Facebook is a very dynamic platform. Like what worked before might not necessarily be working now. And what works now might not necessarily work in the near future. It just changes really, really quickly as people start spending more money on the platform. So same happened with video ads and photo posts. You know, like before photo posts were just rocking, trending, but as people start or advertisers start spending millions and millions of dollars on the platform, you know, the ads themselves have way more exposure. People have them way more frequently in their timeline. So, you know, they, they get used to them. And it doesn't mean that your product or service or offer won't sell in general just because you have a photo post. But at the same time, uh, it starts losing engagement a long, a long time, okay? So when video ads came, the engagement just exploded, you know, because a video really gets more the attention of a user, especially with this update that Facebook made where videos are just played automatically. It keeps the attention. I mean, people get see the video more, but not also do they see it more. They actually stay more time on the post because it's a video, pretty much. They want to see what's next. If you're scrolling down your newsfeed, and you see a photo, usually you're just gonna stay there for a few seconds and just keep on scrolling on a video, it's gonna get more the attention. So videos have been really, really hot and they generate more engagement. Engagement is really one of the biggest factors that determine if your campaign is gonna be successful or not. Like really, like all my successful campaigns have got massive engagement. If they don't have engagement, usually it's gonna be really hard to, to scale. Your return on investment is gonna, it's not gonna be that, that good compared if you actually had more engagement engagement is going to be the factor that's going to affect the fact that you can scale a product or not. It's going to be the factor that allows you to be lower and still win the Facebook auctions. It just has a, a huge role in all, in all this uh, marketing thing. So my point is that videos are like kind of what's hot right now. It doesn't mean that you can't make money with photo posts. Uh, the majority of my, my income has been from photo posts. Uh, let's say from this point in the back, but I've been doing a lot of videos videos lately and they are working like really really well and the reason is because they blend with the uh, Context of the platform. Okay, they if you manage to create a video that doesn't really look like a sales video It's just like a meme type video that just goes viral and, and people like to share it because they don't even they don't even notice that you're trying to sell them something It's just like whoa, take a look at this cool video. So they share it with their friends so that's why engagement increases a lot. So when you manage to take a product, a physical product, and generate a viral video for it, engagement is gonna go up, cost, costs are gonna go down, and, and the return usually is way higher. So some of the best practices with video ads is don't make a, a video super long, okay? Don't make it super long, try to keep it under, under a minute. You know, it doesn't mean that if you make it a minute 30, you, you won't have results. I'm just saying like, usually, the, the time people spend on a video right? is usually under a minute, especially because a lot of people don't have intern, a great internet connection. Like, you know, in here in Costa Rica with a 4G or 3G, I mean, the internet is still really, really slow. So you want to make your videos to the point, show what the product does to the point. You want to add engaging music. You want to add uh, probably in the end, you want to add a call to action. Like click on the link above this video to secure yours with 50% off. You want to keep the video short to the point. And another thing you can do is, have you seen those memes on Facebook? You know, they have the text, a photo and, and text. It's just a regular meme, right? For video ads, you can do the same. If you take a look at these video ads that let's say Gary Vee does or all these big marketers, it's just like, let's say a video, they have the text and the text in the bottom. It's called, like, I like to call it like a video meme. So really when a person sees that and in the, in the video that's, that you're showing them, it's about a product or something you're selling, it tends to become very viral because they tend to confuse it with a meme. And it's just like these video memes really, really get a lot of shares, likes and comments. The idea is that you take videos that are working, products that are already working and make your own tweaks, edit the video, um, generate another version of it using the concepts of the viral video so that you are unique. And a big problem that people do is that they just copy and paste the exact same video ad of a competitor and boom. Now Facebook is gonna take you down. It's gonna even, they can even ban your fan page or, or ad account because you are copying someone else's video. And they on Facebook uh, pretty much said, hey, this is mine. If you find someone else, 
bring them down. So that's what you can do on Facebook now. So you gotta actually make sure that you edit the video, that you make it your own. Uh, you can get videos from your suppliers, you can get videos, you can get a sample of the product and actually record a video itself. Uh, some of the most successful video ads that I've seen is just like you, you take, I don't even have my, my phone here, you take your phone and you start recording doing like kind of a product review, you make that a video ad, put some text in the top, in the bottom and just run it with it. The same, same applies with, I mean, the, the testing process of a video, it's pretty much the same testing process of, of a photo and, or, or a page post. You can just start testing audiences, audiences. The difference is that the video is just a video, it's not a photo, it's just uh, showing what the product does in a video. If you have a product that's just an image, it's not like a product that actually has action or, or you have to show what the product does in a video, you can just do a video slideshow. You don't have a lot of images, but make a really nice slideshow video of the image and, and make it viral, you know? So that's really, really some of the best practices for video ads, things that are working. I could be talking about this for a lot of time, but um, definitely test that out. Definitely test out videos. I, I tell my, my students to test a lot of videos in the beginning as well, as well as photo posts, but, but videos are, are really hot because they create a lot of engagement. Um, like always, just test, see what works for you. It might be photo posts, maybe video ads. In the end, you just wanna stay, stick with what works, right? So that's pretty much my two cents, guys. If you like this video, if you like my past videos, be sure to smash the subscribe button, like the video, comment below, uh, you know, just asking me anything or whatever. And that's pretty much it. See you in the next episode.